Ciao, I'm Mariana Esposito. Today on Ciao Italia, shrimp three ways. Something's fishy in the kitchen, yes. I think it's shrimp, yeah, because I'm gonna make you a few shrimp dishes. In Italian, shrimp are called gambari. So uh, I'm gonna start out with one that's cooked in beer. Yeah, so what we have to do is start with some spices. So we here we have whole black peppercorns, here are whole pink peppercorns, and some coarse salt. So here they are, and I'm gonna put them in a little spice grinder, but first what you wanna do is toast these peppercorns first, kind of bring out, you know, their flavors. It's, your kitchen will smell really nice too. So about a half a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns and, whoops, missed one, and a quarter teaspoon of the red peppercorns. Now, I have to tell you that if anyone out there has a nut allergy, you want to leave the pink peppercorns out because they are related to the cashew nut. So if you have a nut allergy, you've just eliminated this. So no pink peppercorns for you. You could use just all black peppercorn if you wanted to. And then we want some coarse salt, about a half a teaspoon goes in. And then you just whiz that up until it's a powder. You want to get it into a powder. I just love this little gadget. Yep, that looks like a powder. Okay, so what I'm going to do with that is put it in a little dish. And believe me, that little bit of pepper is pretty potent. Yeah, that's, that's all of it. So that's our mixture. So now I'm going to just going to set that aside. So now we have to make a marinade. And for that, you want to do this in a rectangular dish where you can put the shrimp. We want some beer. And I'm using Italian beer, Peroni beer. But you can use any kind of beer you want. So you need about one and a half cups of beer. Well, that's going to go in. There's our beer. And we want about a teaspoon of sugar, I mean salt, excuse me, and a tablespoon of brown sugar. That goes in. So now we just mix this around. Mix that around until all of that brown sugar dissolves. So now we're going to put our shrimp in this mixture. So for this particular recipe, you want two pounds of shrimp, large shrimp. Look on the bag because oh, shrimp is sized like eggs. You know, everything is relative. So I would say that about two pounds of large shrimp can be anywhere from 21 to 30 shrimp. All right, so that's dissolved nicely. So now let me get the shrimp which are in the refrigerator. Okay, and here they are. It's our large shrimp. You see? And they are already peeled and deveined. So we want to add them to our marinade. Just put them in your marinade. And you can count them as I'm putting them in here to make sure that I I told you the truth about the number of shrimp that we have here. And I really love this dish because it's, it's healthy, it's different, the sauce is really interesting, and we're going to serve it with some farro. And I'm gonna show you what to do with that in a minute. So all the shrimp go in. And now we cover this. I'm going to wash my hands first. We cover this with a piece of plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. All right, so there's my plastic wrap. 
I'm going to let this sit around for a couple hours. And you know, you could go back and move it around with a spoon, toss the shrimp back and forth so that everything is covered. In they go. I got a lot of stuff in that refrigerator. Okay, so now let's work on the farro. So this is farro. Okay? Farro is an ancient wheat berry. It's a strain of wheat, and it's very good for you. So here it is. And you cook it like you cook, you're going to cook rice. So here I have three cups of chicken broth. I like to do it in chicken broth because it gives the farro a much better flavor than just cooking it in water. So you want to put that into a saucepan. So we want to bring the chicken broth to a boil. Once we bring it to a boil, then we're going to add the farro. All right, the chicken broth is at a boil. I'm going to add the farro. And just give that a quick stir. And now this has got to cook until all of this liquid is absorbed. So that's going to take, I would say, as the crow flies, about five to seven minutes. So put it on medium, low. You don't want it bubbly, bubbly boiling, but just kind of gently boiling. So I'm going to put the cover on. I'm going to watch it. And while that's cooking, we're going to deal with the leeks. So for leeks, in case you've never dealt with them, here are, here's a nice looking one, really nice. They really are members of the onion family. They have a mild flavor. And Italians like to use them. In fact, you know, in ancient Rome, this was a preferred vegetable, porto in Italian. So you take off the dark green leaves because those are kind of tough. You could probably use them in soup. And they're often notoriously dirty. So I'm going to cut myself about a half a cup, but I want to show you what I mean. If you open them up and they're dirty, this one isn't, it's my lucky, lucky day, then you would have to rinse them, you know, get out any dirt out of them, but this is fine. So I'm just going to, we need a half cup for this. I might put in a little bit more just because I like leeks. So you cut them up, you can thinly slice them or dice them if you want to. And this is going to give added flavor to our shrimp dish. If you don't like onions or leeks, well, then you can just leave them out. So I'm just going to give this a quick chop. These don't make me cry as much as onions make me cry, so it's another reason why I like to use them. Okay, that looks good. Put them right in this bowl. All right, now what we need to do is cook these down a little bit in a saute pan because eventually we're going to add the shrimp with them. So now we're going to cook them in a little bit of olive oil. I have a hefty tablespoon of olive oil in here, extra virgin olive oil, and put the leeks in. You really want to just get those soft, but you got to watch them because they burn very easily. So you keep an eye on them. So here are our shrimp that have been marinating in beer. So now all of this is going to go into the pan with the leeks because we want that sauce. This is kind of served in a soup bowl. So very carefully. Get it all in. And the nice thing about this recipe is that these shrimp are going to cook in a very few minutes. As soon as they turn pink, they are done. So maybe in about three or four minutes, these will be ready. We have cooked farro. And it's all fluffed up, and you see it's absorbed that liquid. So what we want to do is put some of that 
in a bowl, because we're going to serve this in a soup bowl. So this becomes the base. Now there's a little furrow. Now let me take that back and get you the shrimp. So here are our cooked shrimp. Okay? And now what we need to do is add those ground up spices. This just, just, just bumps this flavor right up. And you just mix it in with the shrimp. And you notice these shrimp cook very quickly. The minute they turn just the slightest color of pink, they're done. You don't want to really boil them to death because then they'll really be tough. So then you take some of this liquid over the farro. It's enough to serve four people. You like that. You want it a little soupy. And then you take some of the shrimp. Put it right there, just like that. Mm. Isn't that pretty? I tell you, shrimp and beer. Who knew? Here are our shrimp, all cooked. And as I say, you don't want to cook them too long. It's, as soon as that water comes to a boil, you put them in, shut off the heat, put a cover on, put your timer on. Three minutes later, you'll have nice tender shrimp. So we're going to do these shrimp with a, an arugula sauce. So here is arugula. And arugula has a really peppery taste. It's an interesting herb because you can use it in salads or you can use it in sauces. People like to use it in fillings. So we have about, oh, good cup and a half packed arugula leaves that have been taken off the stem and dried. So we're going to put them, either you're going to do this in a food processor. I wouldn't do it in a blender. I don't think the blender would be uh, very good for this, but because the leaves are kind of sturdy. So I'm going to put them all in my Vitamix, which I use a lot and just set that aside. And then I want some coarse salt, a little abrasive to help get that uh, all mixed in well. Get my trusty little, I guess I don't have my trusty little spoon. I'm going to use my fingers. So some coarse salt goes in. And so now what I'm going to do is Pulverize that a little bit. Top on. Okay, now I'm going to add some olive oil. I want to get this into a saucy consistency. And to even make it a little more velvety, we're going to add just the yolk of a soft boiled egg right there, okay? Just the yolk. Soft boiled egg goes in, just the yolk. And that's looking really good right now. Took a little while to get going, but it's, it's good. So let me just check this. Everything in the kitchen is trial and error, but I want to show you. See? Look how beautiful that is. There's your sauce. That's it. All right, now how does this go? Well, let me show you. So, make some room here. On a serving dish, want to arrange some of your shrimp, see? And you know, if you, if you don't have arugula leaves, which gives this a really peppery kind of taste, you could use parsley. You could make a parsley sauce out of this. That would be nice too. So I'm planning on this serving eight people. Figure eight people, two pounds of shrimp. You can start counting these if you want. You know, most people are going to eat about eight to ten shrimp. So you really, I always believe you should have more than less when you're serving company. So you just fill in 
on your plate like this. And this is a great summer dish, I think, because arugula is in season in the summertime. So that's what I would make this. And look at how fluffy these shrimp are. I just want to eat them the way they are. And this could be, this is eaten at room temperature. Looks like a little rose, doesn't it? I think I need a bigger plate. Here's that sauce, beautiful green color. You could also do this with spinach, I was just thinking, but I, I like this much better. So there it is. You don't need much because, of course, it's very, very peppery. So then, just take some of it and drizzle it over the shrimp. Just give it a nice drizzle. See how pretty? That just brightens that up. You could add, add some arugula leaves as, a, as an accent if you wanted to. Mm. Beautiful. Okay. And then you could add just a nice lemon wedge if you wanted to, or a slice of lemon. Let's do a nice, this one doesn't have much lemon in it. It's, it's like a there, and there you have it. Shrimp with arugula sauce. How about we do a grilled marinated shrimp? So here we have shrimp again. You want to start with large shrimp. That's all relative, no matter where you buy them, but large shrimp. And we're going to make the marinade first before we put the shrimp on the grill. So you want to start out with two cloves of garlic, which we're going to mince. And for this, we are going to grill the shrimp first and then put them in the marinade. Most people would do it in just the opposite way. They would grill the shrimp and then put it in a marinade, let it sit there. But we're going to do it just exactly opposite. We're going to make this very quick marinade. And then we're going to skewer our shrimp and take them to the grill. They're not going to take very long to cook at all. Shrimp cook in just a couple of minutes. So why am I firing up the grill, you say? Well, I just wanted to show you something different. OK, so there's the garlic. And then with that, we want some rosemary. So here's some fresh rosemary. Just take it right off the stem. Didn't want to use rosemary. You could use something else. Actually, you know, I've used the stems of rosemary as the skewers. I, you know, if, they're th if it's thick enough, you could actually use the, the, the whole stem as the skewer when you're marinating something. And then you'd really get some great flavor. So I'm just going to mince that up. Okay, looks good. In it goes. And for this, we want some red wine vinegar, about three tablespoons, I would say. I'm just going to eyeball this. Three tablespoons. About one and a third cups of extra virgin olive oil. About right. Salt and pepper. Salt. And you just let this sit around. Just let this sit around while you're outside grilling. Because that's my favorite thing to do with shrimp. Put them on the grill. They're really delicious that way. They get a little smokiness. 
So once we have that, let me clean up the decks here a little bit, we have to deal with what are we going to do with the shrimp. Okay, so there's several, several things you could do here. Like I said, you could skewer it right on the rosemary stem if it was sturdy enough. You could soak some wood skewers for about an hour or so and thread them on wood skewers. Or you could use just regular old metal skewers. So these are just metal skewers. And all you really want to do is take those colossal shrimp that you bought and skewer them. I would put like six or seven on each skewer, depending on, you know, how hungry people are. I would say seven or eight is a good number to serve people. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We put two more on there. Seven. Okay, and that's eight. So you spread them out a little bit so they're not all stuck together. Believe me, that's going to cook in just a couple of minutes. So I'll do one more. These are already shelled and deveined. So we took out the center vein, which is right here. See, that's where you want to take that center vein out with a little knife. There are actually people who leave it in there, but I don't think that's such a great idea. So that's four. You can serve four people, six people, depending on how many shrimp you give them. So that's one, two, three, four, five, say, sette, otto. Okay. Allora, siamo pronti. Now, you finish skewering them like that, and you go to the grill, which has been preheated. All right, here are the shrimp already grilled, and now when the skewer is easy to handle, you can just take them off the skewer right into that beautiful marinade that you made. I like to serve this with crusty bread, a little side salad, delicious. And you see that the shrimp have just a little tinge from grilling. You don't want to overcook them. So then I just toss them in this marinade. I leave them at room temperature for about a half hour. Just give me a hunk of bread, and this is ready to eat. So, there you have it. Gambari, three ways. I had shrimp on my mind today, so I decided to make you three wonderful shrimp dishes. Very easy and all delicious. And we started right here, remember, with the shrimp that we cooked with farro, and now it's all ready for the serving. And then we made a shrimp in a rucola sauce. Remember, that's that peppery herb that we added to the shrimp. And here we skewered the shrimp and then put them in a marinade. All of them are fabulous, and you should try them. And until I see you Nella Cucina again, I'm Mariana Esposito. Ciao!